We've mentioned molecules before, and molecules are two or more atoms that are covalently bonded. For example, a water molecule is made up of three atoms, two hydrogen and one oxygen atom. The oxygen atoms share two electrons with each hydrogen for two covalent bonds. It isn't clear from the space filling model of water how many electrons are being shared between the atoms, but we will soon learn how to figure this out. In the space filling model of water, the hydrogens are represented by white spheres and the oxygen atom is represented by a red sphere. The reason the atoms are stuck together in this molecule is because they are covalently bonding. The graphic on this slide shows a model of covalent bonding between two hydrogen atoms. Each hydrogen atom has one electron, and when they share this electron, they form a single covalent bond. This bond can be represented by a line drawn between the symbol of each atom, or capital H, simply writing the formula, capital H subscript 2, or by placing two dots between the symbols for hydrogen. These simple representations do not accurately represent the complicated balance of forces that occur in a covalent bond. The nuclear charge of all atoms is positive. This positive charge attracts the bonding electrons. As electrons are pulled closer to a given nucleus, the other nucleus gets pulled closer as well. When two positively charged nuclei are too close together, they repel one another. The two bonding electrons also repel each other. The covalent bond that keeps atoms together is sort of like a spring, compressing and stretching. The bond length is the optimum distance between two nuclei. This is the distance where the repulsive forces are minimized and attractive forces are maximized.